Hello. Hi, back again at the drawing board. And today I'm just gonna draw a very quick commission for a fella called George Vraby. Hi, George. Um, shouldn't take too long. We're gonna start with our good old trusty Edding 500. In fact, I'm gonna have that one. And I'm gonna start with his eyes. A little bit of calligraphy on the eyelashes. Now I have already done a pencil sketch here, it's just because it's not worth showing you that 30 seconds. But here we go. One quick swoosh, that's one eyelid. Another quick swoosh is another one. Quite distinctive eyes this fellow's got here. Kind of bright orangey eyes. So I want to keep them nice and clear looking. Even though it's only in black and white. Uh, yeah, he's got some quite heavy eyelids going on there. Yeah, and eyebrows well quaffed. We're going to give it a bit of a brush effect going off there. And likewise. Now that brush effect only works obviously in one direction. <laughs> But um, that's what happens when you sharpen your pens and they come up with a bit of a brushy effect. Uh, just going to give them a little laugh line under here, laughy bags. And then a nose. We're not altogether sure what his nose is doing because it's a full on front shot. So you can't actually see any dimensions. However, I'm guessing it's fairly long and straight and pointed. It's got quite sunken eyes, so I'd imagine it's probably got quite a strong bridge as well. But we'll never know. Hey! Right, here we go. Um, yeah, a little bit of top lip action. Very small mouth going on there. Little bit pouty, Georgie. Little bit pouty. There we go. He's got a little mole going there. A couple of little lines around there. Face-wise, nothing too definite. It's quite an eggy-shaped face. Nothing wrong with that. I, too, am one of the eggy-shaped face people. A little bit of roots indication for the hair. And up the other side. There you go. A uh, little bit of chin definition. A uh, bit of circle for the top of his t-shirt. See, I never normally bother with any details around here because no one particularly cares and no one is going to recognise you by the hem of your t-shirt, are they? Uh, Ears-wise, this is one of the, one of the um, hazards of selfies. Is basically that when you stick a selfie camera in front of your face, it focuses one fisheye right in the middle there, everything else fades, which includes the ears. Can't tell what his ears are doing because the fisheye lens has planted them right on the back of his head, but they are quite low, I think. So I'm going to stick some small little shell likes in there, just an indication of the ears. Okay, now hair wise, I like to do a bit of broken pen from time to time if I can. Just for indication of spiky hair, it's always kind of difficult to do crew cuts and spiky hair and stuff like that. But we're going to get the big Edding 850 pan for the hair. Again, this is another dry brush pen, which uh, has just been worn out basically and used up in the line of duty. Okay, you've got the roots going in there. Yeah, we like it, we like it. Okay, mate, that's more or less finished. Just gonna add some shading now for definition. Like I say, quite sunken eyes, I think. Quite dark eyes going in there. Dark eyelids, anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna color in the irises here as well. Okay, a bit of shadow there. Brings the eyes out nicely. I tend to only use shading for a little bit of added definition. I'm not mad keen on grey, but uh, it has its uses, you know? I mean, there's no point in sticking lines under here, lines down the side, lines around the nose and all that, because I'm not concentrating on a lighting direction. The photo has no lighting direction, so why should I be bothered about it? Just need a bit of shadow around the nose here. It basically brings it out, makes it stand out. Probably shade the ears because that then throws the ears backwards. Little bit of lipstick here, George. Okay, mate. There you go. And some shading under the chin. That basically brings the chin forward. Um, 
What do we think? Is that about it? I reckon that's about it. You can faff on these things forever. Okay, mate. And that's it. This will be scanned and um, added to your Facebook page. Thank you for your patience. Thanks for watching. And hopefully I'll uh, get another one of these rattled off to you soon. Cheers. Bye.